All right, this is going to be a quick look at the Columbia River Knife and Tool M1613 DSFG. That is the model number. Uh, the DS stands for Desert Special Forces, and I'm not sure what the G stands for. Um, a few quick specifications. Um, the knife has a 3-inch blade. Um, when it's open, it's 9.25 inches long. Um, the serrations are VEF serrations. It's in the Tonto style. And it is obviously in desert tan. This knife feels incredibly secure in your hand. Um, you're obviously not going to slip up on the knife unless you were doing something really extreme. Um, it uh, flips open very smoothly. Let's see if I can. I don't want to focus. Um, you know, it almost feels like it has a system open, but very easy. Um, here's a close-up look. Um, the handle, I'm not sure what material this is, but it came kind of rough. There you can see. Um, I'm not, and, and I've seen other um, desert tan uh, Columbia River knife and tool knives. And they, their coating wasn't like this. Um, I think this is maybe specific to this knife or something. I'm not sure, but um, this is how it came. You know, I don't have a problem with it. It works just fine. There's the auto locks. It's a safety mechanism from patented by Columbia River Knife and Tool. And there are the specifications. Um, it has this thumb stud here on both sides. Not really sure why. I can't really get it open with just the thumb stud. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's an up close look at the serrations. Right there. They say VEF serrations don't hold up quite as well as quote unquote standard serrations. Um, here regular serrations, but um, yeah, I mean, for a life and death situation, it's it's just unbelievably sharp. Uh, I wouldn't dream of, you know, I've cut myself on this stuff before. All right, so we'll do a quick um, cutting test here. Uh, I have a piece of, let's see here, this is a piece of magazine. It's not, it's, it's relatively thick, it's uh, kind of cardboard. Um, and this is right out of the box, by the way. I haven't done anything to these to this knife. I find um, just about every Columbia River I own from the factory, they come unbelievably sharp. Um, I paid $37 for this, but it's currently going for $43 on Amazon. I've noticed the price really seems to fluctuate on these Columbia River, Columbia River knives, so just, uh, just shop around. Um, a word of caution, CRKT knives are one of the most counterfeited knives out there. So when I say shop around, um, I, I don't really mean that because uh, eBay is full of fakes and stuff. I always buy mine from a reputable company like Amazon or something like that. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.